Meet Eric Steven. He's celebrating his seventh birthday today with his family at their home in the Westlake community in Western Paradise Village. But he's autistic, diagnosed about two years ago at level three on the autism spectrum, which is the more severe level of autism. And keeping him and his siblings engaged during these COVID times has been a challenge. It's been extremely, extremely challenging. Um, it's quite a task of teaching because the reality is that we're now teaching our children. The curriculum that's set forth at the beginning of the year is, is rigid, especially for my children who are in private school. The, the first two are in private school and there's a level of expectation in terms of their performance, in terms of their level of learning. And so it's been, it's been a real challenge when you have to have that mix of a balance of your work, um, your sec in terms of your secular job, rearing your kids in terms of their usual social interactions, their education, as well as the work that you have to do at your home. Eric is the youngest of three children. He has a nine-year-old brother and an 11-year-old sister. While his older siblings remain occupied with distance learning packages as they try not to lag behind in their educational development, Eric's process is different. Jocelle Stevens says that through a lot of research and support from Autism Belize, she and her husband have put in place tools to help along the way. It's a challenge, even without COVID, it's a challenge raising a child with autism, but at the same time, it's extremely rewarding. Because Eric is such a sweetheart when you get to know him. When you see that personality comes out, he's one of the most mischievous children. But um, autism affects their ability to communicate. It's a developmental disability, um, but it affects their so ability to interact socially. It affects their ability to communicate. Some are nonverbal, some may have difficulties in just expressing themselves. And then there's also repetitive behavior. So um, for him, a schedule is very, very important. So with all the changes that COVID has brought us, the fact that he's no longer in a classroom setting has been an adjustment in his normal routine. So that throws him off completely. Whenever that happens, there is what you call behavioral issues. You could hear him screaming just now in the background. Um, behavior could end up being where he's hurting himself, whether by biting or hitting, or he will hit others. So us, his siblings, the babysitter. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> it's been a challenge as to how do we help him to adjust to this not normal situation. Eric is a student at Stella Mars Primary School, which the family says has been very hands-on with their son's learning curve. Eric also gets his weekly packages and would do sign language, letters, numbers, and coloring. Sometimes our schedule changes on a whim, and so we're not able to prepare him. Sometimes we use what we call social stories. So we would use our little cards that we have and we'll form a story. We would create the list of, okay, we're leaving home. We're going into the car, so you'll have a picture of, a, of us leaving home, the car, a shopping cart maybe for the supermarket, and we'll have to show him what the day looks like. Speech therapy is very important tool for him, and unfortunately, it's, it's not always readily available here. There's a cost attached to it, but um, part of our support groups, that I, one of the support groups I'm in, had shown me a link where they were giving free speech therapy. So for the last six months, he was in a speech therapy course where every Monday we'll have a virtual training with a speech therapist. Stella Maris so far has really worked wonders for us. His teacher, Teacher Foreman, has been an inspiration to us. She, she's one teacher that I can say has a passion for her children. She goes above and beyond. Jocelyn Stevens says that they have incorporated weekly scheduled fund activities for the entire family such as the movie night on Fridays and games night on Saturdays, which helps with coping with the stresses associated with COVID-19 and the restrictions in place. Dwayne Moody for News 5.